ourselves why doesn't god give uh, satan and his fallen angels a chance to repent you see the bible does not specifically address the issue of fallen angels uh, having an opportunity to repent but we can gain some insight from what the bible does say first and foremost concerning lucifer we understand uh, that lucifer or satan was one of the highest angels Perhaps the highest. It was <laughs> perhaps the highest in heaven. Let's see what the Bible says in Ezekiel 28:14. It says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. He was a cherub covering, you know, at the top, you know. That that's why they're always doing that uh, the hand sign trying to show something like uh, like top there. I don't know. You can just go and Google their signs. Eh? So it was the anointed cherub that covereth. And I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. So Satan, or Lucifer, was the highest. He was basically the highest top there. You know, and he knew everything about God. And Lucifer, and all the angels, all the other angels who were in heaven, they were continually in God's presence and had the knowledge of the glory of God. Therefore, they had no excuse for rebelling against God and turning away from Him. They were not tempted. There's no place they can say, oh, we were tempted, like the way we try to say now. And the Lucifer and the other angels, rebelling against God, despite what they knew, was the ultimate evil. Now, second... We have to understand that God did not provide a plan of redemption for the angels as he did for mankind. Okay? The fall of the human race necessitated an atoning sacrifice for sin. And God provided that sacrifice in Jesus Christ. You remember Jesus, he died for our sins. Remember that? So that was in Jesus. Okay? In his grace, God redeemed the human race and brought glory to himself. And that's why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.21, He has made him to be seen for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. Him who knew, 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 uh, who knew no sin was made sin, so that we might be made righteousness of God. So, there is no such sacrifice which was planned for the angels. And uh, also... In addition, we have to understand that God referred to those angels who remain faithful to him as his elect angels. Okay, in 1 Timothy, uh, in 1 Timothy um, 5 verses 21, see what the Bible says here. It says, I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels that thou observe these things without preferring one, one before another, doing nothing by partiality. You see, the elect angels. Hmm, not all of them, the elect angels. Because what, what happened to the others? They messed up. They messed up. So we know from the biblical doctrine of election that those whom God elects to salvation will be saved. God knew that those people... They will be saved because there was a plan for them because he already knew. You see, God is all-knowing. We're not talking about Calvinism here, uh, those who will go to heaven and those who will not. No, it's not like that. But God knows the end from the beginning. He knows everything. So he knew these are the people who will be elect. And also, about humanity, he also gave them a way. Because the Bible says in the book of Revelation that... Uh, Jesus is the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. So if Jesus was slain before the foundation of the world, was Adam there? No. Jesus already knew that mankind would sin. So he already, already created a plan of redemption. That is what we call, he already created a way that you'll be elect of him. But if you deny, then it's all up to you. If you say, oh, I don't want that plan. The plan is already there. He presided predestinated you for salvation it's like if you have a, 
if you have two children and you're a lawyer and uh, you do everything in your power to make sure that those two children will become lawyers. You take them to a, a, a law school, you give them every law material, you uh, make them have uh, friends who are lawyers. And uh, one of the two children decides, mm, I'm not going to be a lawyer, I'll be a musician. Now, what do we say about that? You already predestinated your children to be lawyers, but one refused. That's exactly how... Uh, predestination is all about so I'm not here to talk about Calvinism and all that eh? but I wanted you to understand this aspect of what I'm saying here so we know from the biblical doctrine of election that those whom God elects to salvation will be saved and nothing can separate them from God's love because the Bible tells us in Romans uh, 8 38 to 39 that there is nothing above below things to come things here which will separate us from the love of Christ and uh, clearly those angels who rebelled were not elect angels of God. So, finally, the Bible gives us no reason to believe that the angels will repent, even if uh, God gave them a chance, because the Bible tells us very well in 1 Peter 5.8, <clears throat> Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So, these people, this Satan and his angels, they seemed completely devoted to opposing God and attacking God's people. That, that, that's their plan. He's, you see, Satan has no remorse in him. He doesn't have any... He, that's why the Bible says, you are your father the devil if you're not saved. Who was a murderer from the beginning and he still continues to be because he has no remorse. And God has no, nothing to do with uh, beings which have no remorse. You see? So the Bible says that the severity of God's judgment... You have to understand the severity, se severity of God's judgment varies according to how much knowledge a person possesses. Because knowledge is key. We always hear about knowledge. Get knowledge, get wisdom. And that's why the Bible says even in uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So why would you be studying? To gain knowledge, because knowledge is key. And the Bible is very keen on that knowledge. And remember, the fallen angels, with all that great knowledge they had about God in heaven, they knew everything about God and they were with him in heaven. They saw the glory, all the glamour, they saw everything, how God is good and everything. They had all that knowledge and still rebelled against God. So with all this knowledge, what do you expect? They deserved God's wrath. And God had no chance to create any, he had no, there was no point where he could, he needed to create a, a way of redemption. Why? Because they already have all the knowledge. They have been there with God. They have seen him with their eyes. They have done everything. And they have been there. They have seen the glory. They have tested it. But with all that knowledge, they still refused. Because the Bible tells us very well in uh, Luke 12, 20, uh, 48, Luke uh, 12, uh, 48, it tells us about this and it says that uh, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. If you know less and uh, you have done things which are worthy of stripes, then you'll be beaten with few stripes. For unto whosoever much is given of him shall much be required. And to whom men have committed much of him they will ask more. You have to understand this. So there is a lot which is needed and which, of course, these people had, these fallen angels, let me not call them people, these fallen angels, they knew a lot about the kingdom of God. Satan knew a lot because he was staying 24-7 there with God and he was seeing the glory. So now, much was given, much was expected. And that's why you see Satan and his angels could not be able to be redeemed. They could not be able to uh, be given a chance because they had the chance there and much was given to them. Much favor and much priority was given to them, but they failed. Have you understood this? So now, if you're out there and you're still wondering and asking yourself, so how can I be able not to be like them, not to be away from God? How can I be able to make myself listen to God and his will? You see, unless you do the will of God, you'll just be like them. Because the Bible says, you have your father the devil, Lucifer. 
If you don't listen and do the will of God, you'll be like him. You'll be of him. And at the end of the day, what's going to happen? You will know and you will say this and this and then you'll end up in hell. But God has already created a plan for you for salvation. How you can be able to be saved. And this is the most important thing. Getting that knowledge of how you can be saved. And the knowledge is found in the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it's all about how that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again as is written in the scriptures. Jesus died for our sins. And uh, he was buried and he rose again, as the scripture says. Why did he do this? For you, so that you can be saved. And if you understand this and you go through, you can go to my other videos about uh, the gospel and salvation. You can get to understand in depth. But just in general, if you understand that and you confess it to him, you tell him what you have believed and you have understood. Through a prayer, you tell Jesus, this is what I have understood. That for sure you died for my sins, you were buried and rose again, as the scripture says. You tell him that and you confess it truly, and you believe in your heart, then you're saved. And now, you'll not be cast out as Satan. And even if Satan comes roaring like a you know, lion trying to devour, he will not devour you because you're already protected. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope you've been able to understand something. Please, you can like this video. You can share to other people to be able to hear. And also, you can subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that uh, whenever we post a new video, you can always... Uh, be the first one to know because you post new videos every day pass by to check every day so that you can edify the body of Christ God bless you and have a good time